at war right now with the Most High. You want, and you wonder why you're getting all these damn spirits coming up against you. Yeah, the spirits are going to come out. But they condemning you while you preach. Why? Because you ain't upholding this word in, in truth. Right? Read on. Ecclesiastes 1 and 29. Be not a hypocrite in the sight of man, and take good, good heed without speaking. Yeah, you need to take good heed with your speaking. You can't possibly be closing it down on, the, on our sisters, right? Because they're coming in with us too. You can't be shutting up the kingdom to, 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 to the women and saying, oh, this is just for the men. Nah, you can't be doing that because you can't, you can't teach her, because you can't hold a woman, because you can't establish a wife in righteousness. I mean, come on now. That that's shows that you have no wisdom, no understanding. You understand? Come on. Ecclesiastes 1 and 30. Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall. Yeah, and the Lord said, don't be exalting yourself just because you got a little wisdom. Just because you, I'm sorry, just because you got a little knowledge. My bad. Just because you got a little knowledge. Don't want to be exalting yourself because that's where you're going to fall. Read on. Ecclesiastes 1 and 30. Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secret. And the Lord's de definitely, nothing is in secret. The Lord said, don't be exalting yourself. Don't be uplifting yourself and, and getting all puffed up. Because that's when the Lord's going to discover your secrets. There's a lot of people that tripping up when they be preaching this word. Because they got too many secrets. They got too many things that they ain't telling. That's not, listen, the Lord will have our wickedness to be out in the open. So you cannot practice it again. Get it out. Confess your sins. And leave it alone. Because that's how you get away from the hypocrisy. Read on. Ecclesiastes 1 and 30. Exhort not thyself, lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secret, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation, because thou camest not in truth. They, they didn't come in truth, right? Come on. They came in, they, look, listen, they came in through the preaching that the Illuminati's coming. <laughs> that's how they, they, they running. So they don't have the true sincerity. Because they got the fear of man. Read on. Ecclesiastes 1 and 30. Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. Why? Because thou came not in truth to the fear of the Lord. You didn't come into the truth and the fear of the Lord. Read on. But thy heart is full of deceit. But your heart is full of deceit. You all into some trickery. Some guile, some presumption. The Lord don't deal with the presumptuous cat. He not gonna give up wisdom to nobody that's openly knowing these scriptures and crossing them. He not gonna give the understanding to them. Right? Come back to the wisdom of Solomon. Right? One and read two and three. Wisdom of Solomon, one and two. For he will be found in them that tempt him not. Three. And showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. So again, like the like the first um. Ecclesiastes 128 was saying, distrust not the most high. I mean, fear the Lord. Distrust not the fear of the Lord. You got to trust in him. Read on. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. Read. For forward thoughts separate from the most high, and his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. And his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. The reproof is this correction that we're given. That's what the reproof is. This correction that we're given, right? Give me um one more time. Read, read on, read on. Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, one and four. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject to sin. The Lord said he ain't gonna dwell in the body that's subject to sin. Give me that Ecclesiastes 12 and three. Anybody that's constantly occupied and some form of wickedness is not going to get wise. You're not going to get understanding. If you lock it into to, to the basketball, football, right? Uh, Broadway. <laughs> Listen, homosexuality. homosexuality, right? The Lord said, if you're doing in that, ain't no possible way you're going to come up and serve the Lord. You got a lot of faggots up in the choir, in the church choir. Right? You got, you got a whole church that's, that's run by homos. One of these churches on the green. By, by homosexuality. Uh, sorry, 18, Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou 
shall not lay with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. The Lord said it's an abomination. A man cannot lay with a man. Because that's an abomination. The Lord already, and, and, and the whole world is run by homosexuals today. Right? All our presidents, all of them, they deal with this homosexual vibration. Just a real sidebar, because I'll come back. Because the Lord, and we're reading Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. They can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. Three. Nor to him that giveth no alms. So if you if you are tech wise, or if you constantly into some wicked vibration, there's no good that's gonna come on to you. Yeah, you might get blessings in the earth, but Satan give up blessings too. Satan give up big time blessings to those that serve in him. Right? But the Lord say ain't no good, meaning you ain't gonna get this wisdom. You're not going to get this understanding. You're not going to have the truth. Right? Read it again. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. They can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. And the giving of alms is when you do good deeds to people. Right? They like to say charity is when you give away. And that's not charity. Charity is love. Right? Alms is when you give or when you do good terms. Right? Give me that Jeremiah 5.25. The Lord said, ain't no good coming to him that's constantly dwelling in evil. Right? Jeremiah 5 verse 25. Jeremiah 5.25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. Your sins have withholding good things from you. Your sins have withholding good things from you. That's why a lot of people that you see out here picking out these trash cans. A lot of people like to feel sorry for them, but they're homeless. But the Lord established that they was they locked into too much wickedness. That's why they out picking out in the trash cans, eating up the dumpsters, right? You see a lot of the people that are, are, are you know, they are forced to sell in their bodies, right? Forced into being whores, forced into drugs. Why? Because of the evil ways, because of the things that they practice. Read that verse again. Jeremiah 5 and 25. Yeah. Your iniquities have turned away these things from you. And your sins have withholding good things from you. you know, For among my people are found wicked men. For among our people are found wicked men. Right? And now, now then you just call the so-called white man the wicked. Right? Then you just call him that. But the Lord tell you right here, from among our people are found wicked men. Read it again. Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people, the Israelites, are found wicked men. They lay wait. As he that set his snares, Come on. they set up traps, they catch men. They set up traps, they catch men. There's a lot of brothers that's holding this word. Right? On the streets of New York. On the streets of Patterson. On everywhere. They thinking they holding this word. They thinking they're doing the righteous work. But they're really trying to trap brothers off. Right? Trap them off into them lies. I'm talking about brothers that's even holding this truth. Right? <laughs> But they're not sincere. They're not putting it out correctly. Read on. Jeremiah 5 and 27. As a cage full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and waxing rich. Therefore, they have become great and waxing rich. Because they're into Satan. Listen, the whole earth is delivered into the hand of Satan. Right? Satan, the wicked. He is the one that's ministering over all these wicked people. He the one that's ministering them to them riches and wealth. Everybody think that this is the most high or God as you call it. That's blessing. But now it's Satan that's giving them the riches. Read on. Wisdom. Jeremiah 5 and 27. As a cage is full of birds. And, 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 and let's make this more direct. Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ. Right? Act like the truth only coming out of there. The truth ain't even coming out of there because you left the truth. You left the truth. Now you you got the big time Coliseum filled up like Benny Hinn, Tazadakia, and you want to claim like the Lord's making this happen. No, that's Satan's own. The Lord said, "Broad, excuse me, enter he in at the straight gate, right? For broad is the, is the path that leads to destruction.